everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Mively, and this is my French country home. And um, if you're gonna download this house, I really think that you should have all the packs that I have to make this house look finished and stuff. But you know, you don't have to have to. I just think you should because it'll make the house look a lot nicer. Even though if you don't have it, maybe you can download it and decorate it yourself or something. It's just on your opinion, but it's, this is just my opinion. If you're gonna download this house, you should have the packs that I have just to, you know, give it that full look that you guys see here. But you don't have to. I'm just saying, I'm not trying to tell you that you can't download my house. Because, you know, I'm gonna share on the gallery so you guys can all see it and download it anyways. But, um... The way I got this idea is because I was watching HDTV. Yeah, I'm just sitting here and watch HDTV all day. This is what happens when you don't have a job. You either play Sims, play Link, or watch Netflix, I guess. I don't know what other people do, but that's my thing. That's what I did. But when I was building this house, I made the make sure the front looked really nice. Like, I don't know. Even when I was building this, I put a lot of thoughts for the uh, front trying you know draw those people in you know like make it pretty and stuff and i was like you know what the back needs to look nice too a nice house needs to have a nice back also so i kind of like took their backyard and just yeah made it the house and so this house doesn't have a lot of yard space so if you want a house with a nice big backyard then maybe you could just move this house into a bigger lot that's your choice but i just used this lot from uh, willow creek i think it's a 40 by 30 or yeah something like that so this place doesn't have a big yard or anything and i I don't know. I just still thought it was really cute, even though it has a little space in the back. And then I just used these doors because I figured they look like French doors if you do that, right? And I was like, you know, it's a French country house. It's gonna have French doors, y'all. So I, yeah, used those doors and make it look like French doors. And I think it's really cute. I thought, yeah, I thought that idea was cute. So I really like that that I, you know, have a big imagination and can do this. So, yeah, well, here I am just doing my worst thing, or my best thing, <laughs> the roofing. There's a lot of you guys that have been watching me for a while, you guys know, I don't really like to do roofs. Even though I think that I've come a long way, you know, putting roofs on the house, but I still don't really like to do them, like, seriously. I wish I could just put automatic roofing and the roofs will go on there, like, nicely how I want it, but it doesn't. It goes, I don't know, it, I just don't think it looks right when if I put auto roofing on. I just don't like it the way it looks, so I have to do my own roof. You know, it's so weird. It's like, okay, you don't like to do roofs, but then you're picky how it looks too. Yes, of course, that's just me. Okay, okay, and then here, I wish I kind of did this roofing right here on this, um, whatever top right there a little bit better, but I still think it came out looking really nice, the whole house itself all together, and as you guys can see here, I put this roof, I'm gonna turn it around here in a little bit, but I end up turning it back around because I don't know, I didn't, I thought this was cute at first, but then once I started coloring it and putting everything in, I didn't really like it anymore, I I feel like it was blocking the windows like I don't know you guys will see what I'm talking about like I I and I put you know those um, roof windows or roof it's kind of like attic windows but even though the sense 4 doesn't have attic but that's what I put up there and then it's like that was blocking it so I had to turn that roof around you guys will see what I'm talking about and then here, I just decided, because I feel like this fencing, even though I wish it was a little bit taller, but I just feel like that's the closest fencing that comes to um, a French, you know, like kind of like a French gate. So, uh, you guys know what I'm talking about. Yeah, so I just used that. And then the sh windows. And I see a lot of French um, style home, French country style home that has shutters. Or shutters. However, you guys pronounce it. That's how I pronounce it. With, yeah, so I decided to put this out there. And I thought it was so cute. And you guys see, you guys see, I put a lot of doors again. <laughs> A lot of doors because I've come to realize that it makes life so much easier for me to play my sims and for my sims 
to have a lot of doors you guys know what i'm saying like they don't have to just go through the front door they could go through the side door to the back door wherever they are in the house it makes it easier for them it's just my opinion if you guys don't like all the doors in this house you guys could delete some of them when you guys downloaded it it's fine with me you guys could change the house but just don't um take this house as your own does that make any sense like i say this a lot in my videos but it happens a lot i see it happens a lot people take other people's work and make it their own and claim it as their own and stuff and it's just like you know what we take our time we sit down we take our time building these houses and share with you guys and so you know it's just not nice it's like i know we don't get paid for it it's you know just a small thing but it's just i don't know use your own ideas don't steal other people's ideas please i don't know why i say this all the time every time i build because i just can't happen too many times but anyways there's that uh attic window thingy majiggy that i'm adding there that i was talking about earlier as you guys can see and then i didn't yeah like that roofing anymore so i changed it around i think i did it off camera so you guys probably didn't see and then here i'm just going around putting lightings like i'm just putting my ideas out there like okay this is gonna be this spot this spot this spot so right here i was thinking about like putting a fireplace in the kitchen and and then I realized oh I didn't really like it like I feel like it just too much you know what I mean it was just too much so I just make it kind of simple you guys will see when I finish it I, I like it the way I finished it much more than I was thinking about doing it I thought it came out looking really nice so yeah, I just Google more pictures just to see like their ideas and stuff. And uh, yeah, I was like, no, I don't really need this. Because they even even tried to use the half walls, and then I was gonna put shelvings on there and you know make it like tear up. And then I was like, no, 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 that's just not gonna work. We're not gonna go that way. So I just decided to use the little dishes cabinet there, and I thought that was really cute. You know the dish cabinets yeah that i think that just gives you the really french country style and curtains guys curtains because you know curtains curtains finish a room always and so i just you know how to use curtains and i decided to do it this way like yeah put it on the top like that but then i was like i don't really like that maybe next time if i make it a lot bigger I don't know is there I don't know it came out looking really nice anyways without that so we'll just keep it as that and I decided to do wood flooring throughout the whole house if you don't like it you could change it it's fine it's fine but the reason why I decided to do wood flooring all around the house is because I just feel like this house is kind of built like in you know earlier days in the 20s or the 30s and stuff you know in the older days and it just has nice wood flooring and i love wood flooring if i could convince my husband to keep wood flooring i mean to get wood flooring my for my house i would i, I just think so but it's just kind of like kind of hard to maintain in a way because you try to make sure you don't scratch it because it will look too tacky and all that jazz but anyways enough of that i'm talking like i know my wood flooring but i really don't you guys <gasps> and this right here i love this um yeah this was like a picture i saw and i was like oh oh that is nice i'm gonna try to do it and so here i am trying to you know be crazy and do stuff and I think it came out looking really nice. This spot is just for the stove. That's where the stove is going to go in. And yeah, so it's kind of like blocked off. So when you cook, all the grease doesn't go everywhere and whatever else. You know what I mean? It just stays in that spot. So you just clean in that spot. And I thought this was like a really, really good idea. I thought it was really, really cute. Man, I'm like looking at this. I was like, I want to do that for my house. You guys see, like, I kind of put tile in there for like the back splash and stuff. It's you know, it just makes it easier to clean and whatever else. It's kind of like I'm trying, I'm building this and I'm thinking of like me gonna move in to live in this house for some reason. But, um, yeah, here we go to the dining room. As you guys can see, it's really simple, but and it is so cute at the same time. It's like I'm trying not to go like super overboard with colors and stuff because you guys, if you guys been watching all my other videos, I love my colors like colors like rainbow colors almost like I could just make my house into a rainbow. But this house, you know, because I'm just trying to think like um, not over color because 
I don't know, I looked at a lot of pictures of the French country houses and they don't have super colorful, you know, like red, pink, green all together. If it's gonna be one color, then it's almost like one color throughout the whole house. And that's like really nice or like very light color, you know, like light pastel color and stuff. So I try to do that here and not try to use bright, bright colors, even though I did kind of use a little bit of yellow and pink, but it'll be fine. And then I just, yeah, do my painting situation here. And I thought this was really cute. I've never put this combination together like that before, but I thought it was cute. And then here I go, just trying to put decoration around the kitchen, you know, trying to make it look finished. And of course, you got to have your dishes up there. Yeah, everybody likes to display their beautiful dishes. Oh, and here, of course, because I just, in my mind, I just think, you know, French wine. You know what I mean? So I was like, okay, we got to put some alcohol up in this place somewhere because wine, white wine, well, certain wines are just delicious. So I was like, we got to have our delicious wine in there, you know, especially, I don't know if you guys know this type of wine, but, um, what is it called? But I just know is uh, first love, or is it me, me amore? Um, what is the brand name? If you guys know what I'm talking about, yeah, you guys know what I'm talking about. But my favorite one is the me amore. Um, I forgot what is the brand and what is this name called? I sorry guys if I forgot because this is my favorite wine, like my favorite. They have another one that's called Barefoot, but I like it, but I don't like it too much. I like my wine kind of fruity a little bit, and the Mia Moore is, oh my gosh, guys. If you like um, fruity liquor stuff, the Mia Moore is really good, and it, I love it. I love it with, um, let me see, so, what am I trying to say? Spaghetti. No, not spaghetti. Um, fettuccine. For some reason, for some reason. Weird, weird reason. Or, you know, just um, pasta in general. P pasta dishes. Well, not spaghetti. I've never tried it with spaghetti. But, like, I go to Olive Garden a lot and I buy, I get this um, this wine. Like, I get the whole bottle. I don't just buy a cup. I get the whole bottle because I could drink, like, half a bottle with just my um, pasta dish. But, <laughs> enough of the wine thing. I'm talking to, like, I know about wine. No, I'm just telling you guys about my delicious wine that I buy every time I go. Like, I buy, like, every six months. But um, here we are in the living room. It's really simple. As you guys know me in my other videos, I put a lot of plants, a lot of stuff around everywhere. But this house is very simple and elegant. And that's how I really wanted to put it out there for you guys. And I thought I did really well in this house. Like I didn't overdo it, but then I didn't underdo it also. And I thought it came out looking really cute. And like you guys saw my overview on um, the backyard stuff and you guys, I already showed you guys, I love those paintings. I'm gonna have to use them somewhere. And I did, I use it in this house. Those paintings are just too cute. But I thought the space right here was too empty, so I just decided to put a chess table because I could kind of see this family like would get bored or whatever, you know, if we don't have this, we don't really have a backyard, so we gotta have something in the house. And plus, if you guys haven't even noticed, we don't have a TV. Da, da, da. It's because I figure, you know, we don't need TV. Who needs a TV? Yeah, you got your laptop, you got your phones now. Who needs a TV? What? I'm oh, just kidding. I just didn't want to put a TV in here. If you guys really do want to put a TV in here, I will suggest that you could just put it on, um, like, where that painting was. Yeah, that yellow flower painting right there. You could just take that one out and just put a uh, painting right there on, right on top of the fireplace there. I think that would be fine, but... I just don't want to put a TV in this house. I don't know why, but I just didn't want to. This is the first house, I think. I think it's the first house I built that doesn't have a TV. Like, seriously. Not even in the bedrooms. No TV. And I still thought it looks, it looks really nice. Like, I still love it. But here I go, just, you know, putting rugs in the hallway. Because I think this really finish it. Instead of just having it plain and... This little spot right here was just too empty for me, so I just had to like decorate it a little bit. Even though I promise I didn't overdo it this time. And I'm just trying to figure out what goes perfectly right there because I don't know. I feel like that plant needed needed to be finished with something on the wall. So I'm just like looking. And then I decided to put the moon. I mean the star, the moon. <laughs> um the sun, I should say. The sun is a big star, but yeah. 
So the first room that we start in is a bathroom. And I don't even know how a French country house bathroom is supposed to look like, but I'm just like, yo, I I think, you know, because I'm a Sims, they can take baths for a long time. And then, you know, I thought they take showers long already, but they take baths too long. So I decided to do this uh, shower bath, um, shower bath, um, bathtub slash shower with the shower in it i thought it was like a really good idea you know so when you guys do get this house like if you, you want your sims to take a bath they can take a bath if you guys want your sims to take a shower they can take a shower and so i think that's one of my favorite ones because i didn't want to use the other one the other one was just really modern even though i think i did use it in one of the bathrooms i just felt like it was too modern so this is like the guest you know like uh, the guest bathroom sort of i mean the family can use it but it's right there in the hallway where all the guests can go and so i just want to make it more like presentable you know because you want your house to be like beautiful when people walk in and so i still carry that out into that bathroom even though a lot of the bedrooms in the bathrooms here are really nice but here we are with our first bedroom i think it's so cute and i just kind of use this peachy what is this color i always call it like a peachy orange i don't even know my colors that's so sad and then at first i decided to use the closet like you know these built-in closet like this but then i was like that is so does not feel French country to me enough so I just put this opening here and then put a like a dresser in here yeah and I thought it came out looking really nice the weird thing was the dresser wouldn't go in there like I had to turn on um, move objects for some reason it it's so weird it wasn't like it's it was in something it's just in his own room but oh well it still worked yeah so i just put it in its own room in there and it's so cute like i decided you kind of use i decided to use this one because you know that that dresser kind of looks like it's been beaten down you know move around and whatever else it looks like it's age and like i said this house like in my mind is like the 1930s it was built in the 1930s and you know passed down the family or people still use it to this day and stuff so you know there's some of their furnitures and stuff are still left around so people still refurnish it and use it because it's really like antique it's still really nice and pretty and i'm really big into antique even though i can't uh save any or i mean or i can't even buy any because it's so expensive like really nice antique or expensive and stuff but i'm really like big into it like i love looking at them i love pretending one day that i will own a very beautiful antique piece but yeah so i that's why i really like that and then um what i did in this room oh my gosh you guys don't even know i love it so much i was putting curtains up and then I was like, you know what? I don't want the walls to be too plain and there are not like a lot of paintings because I don't feel like, because this house is not ginormous, you know what I mean? So like, I don't want to look at the same paintings over and over and over again. So, because there's only so many paintings that kind of have that vintage feel to it. And so I was like, you know what? The good idea what I should do is curtains. Curtains, curtains, curtains are beautiful. So, yeah, as you guys can see, I just decided to put curtains all around this room. I thought it was so cute. At first, I used those other curtains, but then I was like, it's not fancy enough for me. You know what I mean? It was just not fancy enough. So, I decided to use these um, side curtains here. And then, yeah, so I just put the curtains inside, and oh my gosh, I put this shell in it. I was like, whoa, this is beautiful. This is just beautiful i gotta i gotta do it all around the room see and but i didn't do it on the other side of the room because you know the other side is the open door to the dresser so yeah i thought it was really cute this room i mean i feel like i should have done that in the master bedroom instead because the master bedroom has a door going out i felt like i should have done that but i already did that in that room so i didn't want to carry on to the master bedroom because i felt like it would just be too copycat does that make any sense i don't know so i didn't do it but you know because i want each room to have its own feel does that make any sense i didn't want every single room to feel like it's the same or it doesn't have each own personality i, I hope that makes sense to you guys because growing up in a you know asian family you know it's just a house 
you live in it, you sleep in it and stuff. Like, I don't know, my mom didn't really bother about like decoration and stuff. Us girls, as we grew up, we decorated the house and make it, you know, stuff. But she didn't care because, you know, you come from the mountains where you can't even put anything on the walls and you cook like on the dirt floor and whatever else, you know. Having a house with four walls and floorings is really nice. So, you know, so the, the having a house is already nice to her. So as, as girls grow up, we started decorating the house. And then my thought was always, you know, each room has a person sleeping in it. And each person that sleeps in their bedroom has a different personality. No two person in the world is the same. You know what I mean? So I always try to make each bedroom has its own personality as the, um, for the person that's, you know, gonna sleep in there and that's what I think about and so that's what I do and then I just use these because I've never used these before these are from um, get together they are the club you know stuff but I thought it was a great idea to use it as decoration I've never used it as decoration before and I thought it came out looking really cute and I really did try to put more flora in here because I feel like some uh, some of the pictures I see not I feel like some of the pictures I've seen of French country homes is like they have a lot of floral um, decoration you know what I mean like floral on their chairs floral on their bed sheets and stuff but then the sense 4 doesn't seem to have a lot of floral uh, furniture or decorations and stuff so I just I don't know I just try to improvise what I have you know you gotta use your imagination and then this one I just figure it's like one of the kids room you know so I decided to just put like the sports stuff right there and then a backpack because I, I could really see the room be one of the kids room or well, you know when you guys play this you guys could probably just change it to like the parents room because I think this room is more of a what am I trying to say the master bedroom than the other one because when I was building this I didn't think of this room as a master bedroom but a master bedroom usually have a bathroom in it right because yeah this room has the, ba the bathroom in it and the other one doesn't I don't know why, don't even ask me why, but I just did that. But yeah, so you guys can change this room into the uh, master bedrooms if you guys want. So you guys could move those kids stuff into the other room. Or heck, you guys can even change this room that I'm working on right now into the master bedroom instead. Because that this room is a lot bigger than all the other bedrooms, but it doesn't connect to the bathroom. You guys would just, just switch the door around or something. Whatever you guys want, I really don't mind you guys changing it to your liking to play this house. You know what I mean? You guys don't have to keep it the way I make it. I, I know that some of you guys... Um, download I do the same thing you know you download a house you see really cute the way you like it <laughs> that's why you download it but it's okay to you know download something you like of the architecture or whatever that you really like and then you could just decorate it yourself and you know because sometimes I do that I download a house or put a house down and I put unfurnished so I could just furnish the house myself too you guys can always do that but if you guys like the way I did it you could keep it the way I did it it's fine with me too because I really you know just like to share my buildings out there and then this yep because I wanted to kind of like put more floral like I said earlier and I thought this room was like perfect for it so I just put my flower stuff in here and yeah this was supposed to be the master bedroom supposedly but it became smaller as you guys can see it has a door to go to the backyard it's because it's supposed to be the master bedroom but apparently it didn't end up that way even though I still think it's still really nice like really nice maybe if I play this house if I was to play this house I would add more doors like connecting to the bathrooms because sims are I don't know really weird like they sometimes they wait until the last minute to go to that bathroom so they like have to run around to go to that bathroom and then they end up paying themselves and stuff so I really like in the sims for some reason I really like to connect bathrooms and bedrooms 
together and then put like outside doors and bedrooms too because so sims doesn't have to run around i guess because i have no patience i get i guess that's the best way to explain it i have no patience to watch my sims run around like a maniac and try to go outside to where i want them to go or go to the bathroom i guess just because i have no patience so the more doors there are around the house the easier it makes my life to play them i'm just saying Oh, and I forgot to talk about that clock in the living room I put out there. I did not think that clock was going to be that big. I've never used that um, big clock before, but it is big. And I thought it was the cutest thing ever. I could find myself using that clock more now. If I knew that clock was that big and nice, I would have used it in my mansion build. Not even kidding, because it's so cute. But, oh well, my mansion build is already done and gone and going and whatever I'm trying to say. But, as you guys can see here, see, this is what I'm talking about. See the bathroom connecting to the other room? I mean, maybe you could just put another door and somebody could use that bathroom. But here I go to the landscaping. And I had the hardest time to do, to do the landscaping for this house because... If you guys watch my other landscapings and stuff, I go out. Like, I... Like, when I first started, I was scared to do it. I was scared I was going to mess up and stuff. But when, once I got comfortable with it, I, like, go crazy. I go all out, like, bunch flowers together, blend them in together, put them in each other, make them big, make them small, make them ginormous. But in this one, I tried to go minimal because I want it to be more of the house than the yard. Does that make any sense? So I just try to go minimal and then so yeah, but this part is gonna come to an end here I hope you guys like the rest of the video just watching me put flowers all around this house and don't forget to stay for screenshots Thank you guys for watching and I will talk to you guys all later builds come out every Friday night And you guys have a good day good night wherever you guys live in the world and bye guys Jazz hand jazz hand that nobody can see You know, because he does look good tonight. Mm -hmm. And it's not just the moonlight. <laughs> he